Hello everyone and welcome to the all-in-one SEO pack WordPress plugin tutorial. I'm Dave Collado and this is configuring your all-in-one SEO pack WordPress plugin. So if you haven't installed this WordPress plugin uh, already then you really should get on it because it is one of the best plugins for WordPress that there is. In fact, it's not only uh, the one that we use, we use it on our own website to SEO our pages and our posts, but it's also the one that we recommend our clients uh, also to use. So if you already are thinking about install it or installing it or if you've already installed it, then you, know, you should be congratulated because you just made SEO on WordPress uh, that much easier for yourself. Now if you need help setting up and using the uh, your plugin, all you need to do is follow uh, the steps in this all-in-one uh, pack WordPress tutorial. So uh, enough talk, let's get started with configuring your all-in-one SEO pack WordPress plugin. Now the first thing that we want to do after you've installed it, you'll see that there's this uh, sort of red alert box here that says all the all-in-one SEO pack must be configured and it says to go to the admin page here and you probably you could click on that and go right to it I'll show you another way is to go down here under settings and uh, just hover over that and you'll see that that's where it is there and you can just click there where it says all-in-one SEO that'll take us to that admin panel now that we're here uh, what we want to do next um, is scroll down all the way to to where you see the fields the first uh, all of the fields that uh, make up the configuration of this plugin so if you've made a donation the first one there uh, if you made a donation you can click the first box to check it uh, we did so let's do that uh, and then you have the next thing that you want to do is you want to enable uh, the plugin so you want to check that enabling it it's what um, sort of turns it on so if you if you do everything and you forget to enable it um, it's still not going to work because that's the main thing uh, so then uh, you want to enter your home uh, title and then below that your home description and your home finally the home keywords uh, and everything as and, and you want to put everything the way you want it so what is that home title and the home description so let me uh, just give you an idea when you, um, I just conducted a search before we got started here for apples, uh, apples and oranges. So you see this blue text up here? That would be what you would put right here in your home title. That would appear there when someone searches. So it's very important that you choose a smart title, uh, something that has uh, your main keywords in it. And then you have your home description right below that. And the home description is also very important because that's this little excerpt that you see here. So if you're looking for orange, oranges and apples, uh, a good description might mean the difference between somebody clicking on your page versus someone else's page. So you want to be descriptive there and you want to um, have something that's uh, appealing enough that has to do with what your what the page is really about. So it's important that it's so important that you you do these you feel you fill these in. And finally the home keywords, um, those are your main keywords that you're using. The keywords should always be uh, related to the, the content on the post. Uh, and then what you want to do is just kind of go through you know the the remaining fields and set up everything uh, the way you want it and now if you go come across something and you just don't know what it is one neat thing about this is that you can click on it like the page title format category title format you can click on all of these and it will give you it, it will help you it'll tell you what those things mean and what they're for and finally once you have everything the way you want it you can change them or you can leave them as is uh, if you if you decide that's how you want everything to be left and then the last thing you want to do is scroll down and click on update options don't forget to do that because that will um, save all those changes that you, you just made all right and once you have done that that's it that the whole thing's come configured and ready to go um, and you're done on the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about using the all-in-one SEO pack WordPress plugin, uh, actually putting it to use while we're creating an actual page or a post. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for listening.